Thank you, Chris. Tonight we can tell you much more about what led up to the murder of an Eastern Shore woman. We've been following this case since November. That's when Northampton County Sheriff's deputies responded to a stabbing at Riverside Shore Memorial Hospital. They arrested Winston Burton on a first degree murder charge. Tonight on your side, Lex Gray is back from court where witnesses talked about what they saw and heard that day. Lex? Yeah, Laura and Stephanie, the testimony in court today got more and more horrifying with each witness. One described screaming and running toward the victim as she was stabbed to death and the victim's family listened to all of this. Winston Burton sat shackled in court as five witnesses testified about what they saw on the morning of November 28, 2015. That morning, the first deputy to respond found Shelly Crockett's car door open and blood everywhere. Hospital employees say they saw Burton, Crockett's ex-boyfriend, earlier that morning hanging around by the dumpsters. That's where Crockett parked for work every day. When she got there, two employees standing in different places in the parking lot heard her scream. One woman testified she began to jog over because she saw Burton attacking Crockett in the car. She thought Burton was punching Crockett, but then she saw him put her in a headlock and drag her from her car. She told the judge, every time he pulled his fist away, I could see blood fly. The witness says she kept running toward them, screaming the whole way. She says as she stood over them, screaming for Burton to get off, he stood up, swore at her, told her to call police, and walked away. Other employees said Burton nearly ran them down as he drove away. A deputy who works at Northampton County Regional Jail says Burton showed up there right after. He looked upset and had blood flowing from the side of his right wrist. He testified Burton said he stabbed his ex-girlfriend at Riverside Shore Memorial Hospital, and her name was Shelley Crockett. Now, the judge ruled this case will go forward. We'll let you know when the next hearing is scheduled. In the meantime, you can watch my investigations into Burton's history on wavy.com. I'm Lex Gray, 10 on your side.